The products that are here are, have a relationship with olive oil. Of course, we begin with the ftira. This is a, 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 beignet, a beignet that we eat in the morning. Cheese, olive oil and uh, uh, zamita. Zamita is like pizza. It's uh, cereals, a mixture from cereals with olive oil, of course. The bread here, you see, the bread is done with ol with olives olives dried dried figs black figs dates this is our national product also from the the south of tunisia dates and halwa halwa is done also with uh, with oil and uh, the sesame uh, seeds the se the paste from sesame seeds is uh, halwa yes mm -hmm. harissa for people who wants to uh, to eat a little bit hot this is harissa this is a paste from uh, uh, pepperonis hot pepperonis Don't forget, pour olive oil on your fish now, on the fish fillet. We just had a wonderful uh, series of 11 appetizers, all related to the sea, very local and, um, well, very typical. I wish you could sort of feel the ambiance. Everyone's relaxed. We've been to eight different olive oil producers in the last few days, seen some wonderful historic and cultural sites. And the grilled fish just came to the table, so the cook says never keep them waiting. Bon appetit. Oh, mamma mia. Oh. And it's filled in with cumina and harissa, look, here. So it gives it a very nice taste. You see? It's cumina in it. Uh, Lou de mer. Yeah. This one is Lou de mer. And you have sea bass also. Mm -hmm. Tap à la porte. Our uh, peppermint tea is uh, very known in Tunisia. It's a green tea with uh, peppermint. You. Uh, you can put fresh peppermint or dried peppermint in it, sugar. And the, uh, the first time that you put the, the green tea, you have to throw away the water because it's bitter. And you do again and leave it boiling, the green tea, leave it boiling in, in the water with, uh, with sugar. And at the end, you put a lot of peppermint, peppermint in it and you cut the fire. And you leave it covered for a moment and you serve it. But when you serve it, you have to pour it like this in a big movement, so the the pepper the, the tea takes oxygen and it gives more more taste. And it's really very nice peppermint tea in Tunisia. It's very good. You are always welcome in Tunisia. I hope I hope that we will do something together yes. with a cross what I call cross kitchen between American and Tunisian. American meets uh, Tunisian. Yeah. To, to mix with Tunisian uh, food. Ah. And we, we create a new plate together. Ça c'est formidable. Be... Ouais, yeah, yeah. wonderful. C'est une bonne expérience. Happy with yeah. you. Have a nice trip. Yeah, you. Thank you very much. <laughs>
It was uh, really a pleasure to organize this uh, trade mission. This effort is very important because Tunisia is not known as a country producing uh, olive oil. Uh, Tunisia started very early producing olive oil. That's why we choose to, uh, to put our campaign under the logo 100% Tunisian because we are not blending our oil, olive oil with other uh, products and uh, it's important to say that uh, Tunisian companies are certified according to the international regulations uh, they are respecting all the international standards and uh, it's uh, it's a very important to promote this aspect among uh, uh, American uh, consumers uh, I think that the American consumers uh, really appreciate olive oil they used to buy it from uh, other Mediterranean countries and we hope that uh, they start uh, appreciating the Tunisian uh, olive oil. I hope that really they enjoy they stay among us and uh, their, the, the tasting of uh, Tunisian cuisine and hope to see them again soon in Tunisia. certainly an international bunch and um, I think we've all just fallen a little bit in love with Tunisia. I love Tunisia! <laughs>